All right, this is going to be our scene on psoriasis, and it's going to be represented by this guy who is Sir Rice. He is basically just rice. His whole head is just rice. If you look up close, that's rice. Sir Rice for psoriasis. Why is it in the shape of a C? Because psoriasis is associated with HLA subtype C. People with HLA subtype C have a genetic predisposition for this autoimmune disease. What is thought to be an autoimmune disease. So psoriasis is a chronic skin disorder characterized by papules and plaques with silvery scaling. So if you take a look at his skin over here, you notice these salmon colored plaques over here, which are very well demarcated, and silvery scaling. If you take a look at the silvery scaling, this is a real picture of the gross morphology of the silvery scaling. This is caused by the hyperkeratosis, the excessive keratin in the cornea layer. This is known as acanthosis, represented by the can with the toe inside. And before we go further, we'll also mention, if you take a look at this nail over here on the toe, you'll note that there's pitting on it. Psoriasis is associated with nail pitting, in which there's pinhead sized depressions in the nail bed. By the way, if you note, the silvery scaling is on the elbows and the knees over here, since in psoriasis, the papules and plaques are especially on the knees and elbows. If you take a look, there's a drop coming down. There's a drop of blood actually coming down from his lesions. This blood actually has an owl inside, an owl, an owl that's spitting. Owl that's spitting for outspit sign. The outspit sign is when there's pinpoint bleeding spots. And this is because in psoriasis, the dermal papilla extends so far out to the surface of the skin, and this results in bleeding when the scale is picked off where the dermal papilla extends. But let's talk a little bit more about that. Here we have this skin model in Sir Rice's house over here. This skin model with the spines on top. This helps us remember that there's an increase of the stratum spinosum in psoriasis. Spine for spinosum. Stratum spinosum is going to be increased and this leads to the thickening of the epidermis. Just remember that the stratum granulosum, however, will be thinner. We have this granny over here going down. The granny for granulosum and she's going down because in psoriasis there's a decrease in the stratum spinosum. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about, okay, now let's talk about the histology. So in the top picture here over we have, we have the Monroe microabscesses. Histologically, there are collections of neutrophils in the stratum corneum, and these are known as microabscesses. And in the bottom picture, we have a histologic view of the parakeratosis, in which the nuclei are retained in the stratum corneum. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on psoriasis. Take care.